What's going on guys, it's Greg from East Coast Eyes and as we do every year, we're preparing for Ocean City, Maryland. You probably already saw our helmet unboxing video. Uh, that means I do my annual gear bag video where I show you the stuff I'm gonna be using. This is pretty much the biggest tournament that Team ECD plays in all year. We play some men's leagues, but this is the one where we pretty much all get together and play. So I usually have my gear all set up for that. So we're gonna dive into all the stuff and bring to Ocean City as well as uniforms, custom equipment, helmets, sticks, all that stuff. So let's start out with the actual bag. Uh, this is the same bag, the same type of bag I used last year. It's a G1 lacrosse bag. Uh, you can check out the link in the description down below if you want to buy one. Uh, funny story, so I had the same exact bag last year. I left it in the trunk of my car, as I do a lot, just in case I play pickup or something. And since my car is also really old and breaks down, I had a quart of motor oil, which then uh, exploded at some point, probably took a turn too fast and the oil got all over the bag and I could not get it out. Uh, and it was definitely my favorite lacrosse bag I've ever had. So I got in touch with them and got another one. So this one's brand new and really pumped to have it. Uh, has a lot of compartments, works really well for what I need. So um, let's run through this real quick. Basically, this bag is full of the stuff I need to play, but also like working at ECD and stringing sticks. It also comes with having everything that everyone else needs and inevitably forgets for their sticks. Um, let's open up the main compartment. Uh, first, we'll go into uniforms. So this year is another Pro Athletics Finlay collaboration. Pro Athletics made all the uniforms and make all the stuff in the USA now. And the pattern is by Finlay, a company that we did hats with last year. Uh, and there'll be some limited edition stuff dropping after the tournament, so make sure to stay tuned. But first off, we've got the shooting shirts. This year we went with like a royal and orange theme. It says EC Lacrosse 28. Um, on the back has the new crab logo and the number again, and then on the sleeves, it has the really cool pattern that we got from Finlay that kind of is like an outdoorsy uh, kind of pattern. You'll see it more on the reversible. So this year is a mesh reversible. Uh, those short sleeve button downs last year were nice, but they were really hot. They were not a great actual playing solution. So the one side is all white with the pattern piping, and the other side is all royal with the pattern all over the penny. So really nice summer look, cool looking jerseys, and then obviously shorts to go with that have the pattern straight down the side. Um, so we always love getting this stuff. All the guys wear it pretty much constantly afterward. Then diving into the actual gear, uh, if you guys watched the helmet unboxing video, you know that this year we got custom Cascade S helmets for the whole team. There's a lot of deliberations of what color we should get, and we ended up with matte black, we thought that was the meanest looking and it would also match our uniforms really well with the black pattern piping um, and we went with the white mask and white chin so they printed team ecd right there on the face mask super custom uh, and then we had pro athletics hook the decals up we always go really simple for this stuff just because we wear it for pretty much the next year for our next couple years for all our tournaments so simple mohawk gloss black on the matte black with a chrome pattern outside same thing goes with the back panel here, easy to lacrosse, number on one side, crab on the other. So a simple clean look, but I think when you put it together with everything, uh, it's gonna look pretty mean. Uh, that'll bring me into the rest of my gear. So sticking with the black theme, this year I'm switching over to the all black, brand new Under Armour highlight cleats. This is the newest model I've worn highlights for the last two years and have never had a cleat that I like more. So almost the same thing, slightly upgraded model, just in the all black uh, to match the helmet and the rest of the look. Then for elbow pads, same thing, same elbow pads I had last year. The M3s, really light, pretty small. Um, I don't like a ton of stuff on my arms. Um, kind of has that carbon fiber pattern. And just switching those over to all black from the all white that I had before. And finally, I've got here a pair of all black M3s with the palms cut out that I'm gonna bring but we are actually lucky enough to get custom M4 unreleased gloves from Maverick. We got to use the customizer, uh, put together a pattern that matches the rest of our gear, and I think that's really gonna put the cherry on top of the whole gear setup. Uh, and then moving into sticks. So these you've seen for the most part before. This is the custom dyed checkerboard Mirage, like the one I had on my Evo X when I was much, much younger. We did a whole video about this. Strung up with Vortex with the uh, a mid-high pocket, so this would be an example of what I would use if I had to go by NCAA rules. And then on the shaft, 
Uh, as always, for Ocean City, we got to teach you guys a little prototype something. Uh, so this is a prototype unreleased shaft that I can't really tell you guys a lot about. But uh, Mirage custom die vortex mesh. And then the stick I've been dialing in for a while, played with all spring and summer, is a gray dive Mirage with the Zones Striker Hero 2. Um, kind of the same pocket I used for a very long time with the high and the two U's. This is the same pattern that Ryan Brown and Dimmer Class used, but the, the U's moved up a little because I can't handle that much whip. Um, and then same thing, uh, similar but older prototype shaft that I've been testing all spring and summer. And tape job, it's pretty simple. It's about or maybe 13 or 14 inches all the way up with a little electrical tape to hold it on. I used to just do two little sections, but it was just easier at this point just to connect them. So both sticks I'm bringing down, hopefully won't break any, but you never know in these tournaments. Uh, let's see what else is in here. We got the Odor Gladiator. I've had the same one for three years now and still holding up strong. So nothing but good things to say about that. And this thing has a lot of pockets. So this side is set up pretty much like all the repair stuff our teammates would need. So a whole Hero 2 kit is if we string something. No one ever brings tape. So I've got like four different types of tape, electrical, small, like thin tape, some ECD tape, just some plain white tape. So I'm, literally everyone always needs tape. So we're ready to roll there. Uh, a couple balls, a couple mints just to warm up with. A um, whole bunch of strings that match the theme. Every year we show up and someone needs to string a new stick or needs it replaced. That's what that's for. A couple of screws. I always know the guy that shows up with his head taped on, never really flies off while he's playing defense. Um, then a lighter. This has the mainly mesh lighter bro case, so I don't have to bring scissors because it has a knife on it already. So that makes it real easy. Uh, then we've got stuff for the fans. So I'm bringing the last pieces of the 2015 USA Original Hero Mesh. So if you guys are coming to the tournament, you find me, you might be lucky enough to get a piece of this. Um, and then the rest of it is pretty much just uh, stickers, wristbands, um, a Sharpie so I can sign some autographs for fans that come out and see us, business cards, stuff like that. Uh, screwdriver, always gotta have a screwdriver. And then a blue unreleased bottle bro. Uh, probably gonna come in handy. So that is all the stuff for this year. It's pretty much brand new, top to bottom. Um, and I'm really pumped to try out some prototype product. Uh, you might have some leaks from the pictures here and there. So we're gonna be shooting a vlog. We'll be shooting highlights. We'll be taking photos. So make sure to stay tuned to us on Instagram, YouTube, pretty much everywhere uh, to stay up to date with the crew while we're at Ocean City. So thanks for watching. Make sure to let me know in the comments what your favorite piece of gear was. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.